Greetings LEGO fans! For today's build, we have the Hulkbuster Ultron Edition. This is kit number 76105 and has 1,363 pieces. This Hulkbuster is quite a bit larger than the one I did for the channel previously, so I'm quite curious how it's going to compare. Obviously it's going to be larger and have more details, but the small one is really easy to play with and was a great playset. So I'm curious to see if this one is going to be as robust and uh, easy to handle as the little one was. So uh, the only thing to do is to build it and see how it goes, but before that, Let's open the box and see what's inside so we can get the build started.
the Hogbuster Ultron Edition. It's bigger, it's badder, but is it better than the smaller one? Let's have a look over the features and decide for ourselves. As expected, standing about twice as tall and with roughly four times the pieces, the Hulkbuster Ultron Edition is a lot more detailed than the Smash Up version that I built a few months ago. Starting from the ground up, this one's got some big beefy feet that are ready to do some stomping, some massive legs that are ready to kick some ass, a torso that's easy to grip in your hand, the right arm has the classic Iron Man blaster mounted in the palm, and the left has the rapid fire punching mechanism. And topping it all off, we have that classic Iron Man look that's printed on the dome, which protects the minifig who is piloting this massive mech suit. Flipping it around to the back, you can see there's not as many details back here. But I think that's fine, because you're mainly going to look at it from the front, and if you're playing with it, when you grip it from the back, it covers over so much of what you would see here anyway, so I think that's just fine. Flipping over the dome on top, you can see the spot where the minifigure would rest. For some reason, the designer of this kit decided to go for smooth plates where the minifigure would sit which I find to be a little bit odd, because a studded piece makes it very secure for the minifigure to hold in place. But in its place, they put these little blue paddles that you can fold up to hug the minifigure so he doesn't move around so much, but it's definitely not as secure as if it was actually attached to some studs. And for a little extra fun, all the points on the mech suit that are mounted with thrusters to help it move around or fly, or in the palm to help it fire, are marked off with glow-in-the-dark studs. And while I do appreciate it, I also kind of find it misses the mark a little bit because you can't see them glow at all when there's any light in the room, and when the lights are off, you have these little points which kind of look interesting, but I feel that that's about all there is to it, just some little points of light. If displaying this kit is what you have in mind, then LEGO's got you covered, as it comes equipped with this great little display stand that also doubles as a mech repair bay. Loaded up with a pair of mechanized arms that are ready to repair your Hulkbuster should there be any bell damage, a spare forearm for the Hulkbuster should you want two hands that have firing capability, a little display so you can see the status of the Hulkbuster and the Veronica satellite in orbit, plus a little model of the same satellite, this little car which I'm actually not sure what it is, and a fire extinguisher to take care of any of those unforeseen mishaps. And this brings us to the minifinger. This kit comes with the Mark 43 Iron Man suit, and I say the Iron Man suit because there is no face inside so it's literally just a suit without Tony Stark or any other pilot. With the main features covered, I have a few shortcomings to discuss. First of all, I don't like how this one stands. It kind of leans back in a way that doesn't look natural and if I were displaying it, I would definitely make sure that whoever could see it couldn't see it from the side. Then we have these two little pieces at the ankles, which look great when it's standing there, but if you try and play with it and move the feet around at all, they just pop right off. That's kind of lame. When it comes to the mobility of the set, it actually has quite a bit to offer over the Hulkbuster Smash Up Edition. But unfortunately, the wrists slash elbows don't rotate. When it comes to play, this really doesn't matter. But as a display piece, I really found that being able to position the arm exactly how I wanted on a smaller edition gave me a lot more satisfaction in finding the pose that really worked for me. So a little disappointed with that one. And finally, I don't really like how the minifigure fits in. I mean, it works just fine. But the other smaller suits had all these little panels that opened up and you really locked the minifigure in place and it was a lot more fun and a lot more interesting and well, I just thought better. So for my final thoughts, I gotta say, if you're looking for a simple display piece, this is pretty gorgeous. It stands tall, gets some attention, looks pretty great and it's pretty true to the original model. But if you wanna play with it at all, I would not recommend this set. I think you're better off getting the much smaller and much cheaper Hulkbuster Smash Up Edition. And that's about all I have to say about this review. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you back here next week for the next release. Until then, have yourselves a good one.